Hey Google, play that song that goes like Uh, Benny's just out doing paperwork right now. He'll catch up with us in a minute. But uh, I got my meal plan in and I need to get a bunch of extra lean ground beef cooked up. And I'm gonna use minimal spices and anything that adds calories. Um, so I went and got some shawarma spice. This will be nice for the beef. Um, and I'm just gonna do uh, as much as I want really because this shawarma spice is zero salt. So I'm gonna add salt to it um, But this is gonna make something that a lot of people would say like rice and beef rice and beef It's so boring, but you can make rice and beef super tasty people are gonna walk into this base and Say it smells amazing. I will crack a window just to make sure that the base doesn't stink like food uh, Too much, but it will smell great. So I don't think anyone's gonna complain at this rate but we'll open a window, courtesy. All right, so we got lean ground beef. Uh, I have another beef hookup coming up. So we're gonna get more beef at a later date. But for now, this will do. This is just uh, roughly two pounds of beef. It's about 900 grams-ish of beef. I'm gonna cut it up, put it on there, and I'm just gonna add the spices as we go. Sheesh. I want all two pounds because even lean ground beef or extra lean ground beef does shrink because of its fat content. You cook the fat out of it or some of the fat out of it. I'm going to evenly distribute the lean ground beef all over the pan. And honestly, like pan frying, this isn't rocket appliances. Pan frying is probably not the healthiest option, especially if you make it super crispy and charred or anything. Like obviously anything charred is bad for you. For the short term, this is like obviously way healthier than anything else. Like if I'm having rice and broccoli with this, that's a really, 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 really healthy option compared to what most of society is eating. <laughs> so, oh, your broccoli and beef are charred. It's like, yeah, but this is way healthier than, than most options. That looks good already. It smells amazing. Just going to, sorry. Mix this up and I'm going to turn it on medium to high. Start high and then go to medium in a minute. This is not officially, it's not hot yet. Just this hot plate probably needs a break from you pounding on it. So I'm just going to pound on it here, mix it all up. And if we're going to talk about health, these Teflon 
like pans, also not good for you, right? So like there are so many health options and not healthy options. You need to look at everything with a wide lens. Let's take a step back and yeah, this is probably not as good as if I was using a cast iron grill or whatever, but moderation, right? If everyone was really healthy, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> If everyone made great life choices, I wouldn't have a job. Being a medical first responder, firefighter, paramedic, is basically reliant on human nature that we're gonna make mistakes and hurt ourselves and get sick, it happens, right? So, we, all we can do is um, mitigate the risk. So try and eat healthy. You can't mitigate all risk, unfortunately. Do your best, right? Just now starting to get into the swing of things with my prep. So technically this is kind of day one. I have one last friend get together tomorrow where I'm probably gonna message my coach and tell him that I'm doing sushi. <laughs> but beef is sizzling, I'll tell you that. I gotta wash this rice. For all you people who don't wash rice, I thought it was overrated. <laughs> Not only is it probably good to wash your rice for your own health and so that you don't get sick, but you're also gonna get less starches in it and it's gonna be a little less starchy and easier to digest. The water is still cloudy. So that, whoop, sheesh. So that cloudy water is just like starches, sediment, dirt or whatever. You probably don't wanna be eating it. That's what I'm saying. And then I'm gonna add water, clean water, and I go by the knuckle rule. For the knuckle rule, you want it to all, all the rice, if go to the bottom, touch just the edge of the rice and get your first knuckle into the water. Hey Benny, rice is on. Does it smell good in here? That's shawarma spice. Planning our week ahead, right? On the, on the whiteboard. So what's your workout routine looking like again next week? Where are you doing? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So if you want to do that in green, you can just do push, pull, legs, and S and A for shoulders and arms. I gotta eat a meal and then probably gonna sit on the bike. I'll throw in here, boys' night. <laughs> If, if you're around. Yeah. It's a little noxious when, you, when we start really like, pumping these out. You're going to be like, Whew. Yesterday you gave the sticker to the, the kids. <laughs> Tomorrow. That looks now turn it around. Hey, that looks good. You packaging it up? I'm just trying to like just to see what that's like is. practice, see what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Custom tea. FDTs coming soon. Woo. The fall collection. The fall collection. The summer collection. This the winter collection. This is <laughs> Give the us beach a spin. Boys collection. The Beach Boys FDT. Do we have one more full video ready? Basically. Pros and cons of being on a fire department. When you're on the side of the road with no gas, one of your brothers or sisters might hook you up with some gas. This might be him, I don't know. Yoo-hoo! Reese is in the driver's seat! Woo! Yay! 
Yeah, Ben. What do you got going on here? All the frequencies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at? Good morning. I um, had a good sleep in after a long day at work the other day. I'm gonna check in with my coach because it's Friday. I got the weekend off. But first, we need to do our daily routine. We need to get all our meals in today, have a good rest day, ideally maybe do some active stretching. I've been having some issues with my like front delt. I think it's like a bicep tendonitis um, issue. So we're gonna deal with that, do some active stretching, do some mobility stuff, and just relax today, uh, eat lots of food. Um, my food's still very high, so no issues with hunger at all. I'm barely eating enough at this point, but I also need to do the driveway because we got dumped on with snow. So if we get more snow, this is gonna be gross. If we don't deal with this driveway, <laughs> 